Today is the 23rd of March and also the World Meteorological Day. Each year there's a designated theme for the World Meteorological Day. The theme for this year is early warning and early action. It aims to raise public awareness on the increasing frequency of extreme weather events under climate change and also the need to make early response and action to achieve the goal of disaster reduction. In the past few years, COVID-19 pandemic continued to affect the world. It is worth noting that the pandemic did not alleviate carbon emissions. As shown in uh, certain studies, after a transient reduction in carbon emission in 2020, it was set to rebound in 2021. According to the assessment by the World Meteorological Organization, 2021 was one of the seventh warmest year on record, making seven consecutive years with global surface mean temperature one degree above the pre-industrial level. The first installment of the sixth assessment report released by the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change in August 2021 pointed out that human activity had led to increases in atmospheric greenhouse gases, which is also the main driver of global warming. Widespread and rapid changes in the atmosphere, ocean, cryosphere, and biosphere have occurred. And according to this report, the climate goal in the Paris Agreement of limiting global warming to two degrees within the 21st century could not be achieved if the global emission of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases are not deeply reduced in the next few decades. So we must act immediately to mitigate the global warming through saving energy and reducing emissions. And locally, year 2021 was the warmest year in Hong Kong since record began in 1884, with the annual mean temperature reaching 24.6 degrees. And the mean temperatures of March, May and September 2021 were also the highest on record of the corresponding months. In year 2021, there were 61 hot nights, meaning the daily minimum temperature at 28 degrees or higher, and also 54 very hot days meaning daily maximum temperature at 33 degrees or higher. So both breaking the records high set in 2020. In respect of the weather outlook for this year, taking into consideration a number of factors, including the development of La Linea, climate model predictions, and also objective guidance, we expect that the tropical cyclone season may start in June or earlier, and also end in October or later. There may be about five to eight tropical cyclones coming within 500 kilometers of Hong Kong this year, which is a normal to above normal. And also under the influence of global warming and also local urbanizations, the chance of annual mean temperature being normal to above normal is expected to be relatively higher. On the other hand, the annual rainfall is expected to be normal to above normal this year, and Hong Kong may be affected by heavy rain. So members of the public should make preparation for the rain and tropical cyclone seasons. Now I would like to introduce the latest development of the observatory. In respect of climate forecasting services, the observatory will publish seasonal forecasts for the next three months on a monthly basis starting from April this year, covering the categorical forecast of uh, average temperature and also a total rainfall of the season. The observatory is also exploring to further strengthen forecasting and enhance dissemination of information to the public in relation to the combined impact of strong winds and also prolonged rainstorm brought about by tropical cyclones so as to better safeguard public safety. In response to the continuously increasing number of very hot days and hot nights in Hong Kong, the observatory will deliver special weather tips messages pertaining to prolonged heat spells through push notification in mobile application, My Observatory, starting from this summer. The messages serve to remind the public to take appropriate measures against prolonged impacts of very hot uh, weather or hot nights. In addition, the observatory will launch a new version of the My Observatory this year, which adopts a more personalized home screen design, enabling users to get hold of the rainform information and weather in various districts at any time more conveniently. On public education, the observatory plans to launch an interactive ebook entitled Decoding Radiation this year. With the aid of infographics and quizzes, the ebook will introduce topics such as the types of radiation, radiation monitoring, 
as well as nuclear emergency preparedness and response in layman terms. Given the current COVID-19 epidemic situation, the Observatory Open Day this year will continue to be held online. You may visit the Observatory headquarters through the virtual tour or videos on the Hong Kong Observatory Open Day 2022 web pages to be launched later. So please stay tuned for the further announcement by the Hong Kong Observatory. In view of the recent COVID-19 epidemic situation, let's remain vigilant in maintaining personal hygiene. Together, we'll be able to come out of this COVID-19 epidemic. Thank you.